I'm Jewel Posey and I'm here with Adrian Janik from Overhauling and we are at the Red Carpet Events LA celebrating the Grammys. So how has your day been so far getting gifted all these luxurious items? So far so good. There's a lot of amazing products here. There's a lot of great drinks from coconut waters to tequilas, vodkas, beautiful bracelets, <laughs> necklaces. I mean, I feel like I'm getting spoiled today. Right, you're getting decked out, adding layer by layer. Does it get any better than this? So, you were on overhauling. How was that experience for you? You know, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about cars on that show. It was kind of like my automotive class. And, you know, I did 47 episodes. So, I kind of caught the car bug on that show and ended up building my own car, which is a 68 Firebird. Wow, that's fantastic. So, you learned what you needed to to then take it to that next level. Exactly. For you. Yeah, and I love it. It's, it's just such an amazing car. And, it's, and I feel so proud to drive it because I can say, I built this myself. You created yes. that. It's from the ground up. It's yes. you. Yes, it's me. So, that's been amazing. And now I went over to the fitness world and right. I host a new show called Fit, Famous, and Fabulous on the Brea Living Network. And it premieres this April. Mm -hmm. And it's a celebrity fitness show. I'm hanging out with celebrities celebrities, working out with them, and just kind of picking their brains to see what they do to be perfect. And right. the, the great thing about it is we show them in a real human light that they, like us, have to work hard exactly. to achieve you know this perfect they body. They don't just magically stay skinny. No, no. They, they, and the eating right and working out. Yes. If there was one tip that you could give anyone from everything that you've learned so far, for eating healthy and for working out, what would it be? For working out, and what I learned from all the celebrities, just about everyone said, find something you love to do, whether it's hiking or a dance class or, you know, running, just no matter what it is, find something that you like to do because then it doesn't feel like a workout. A workout, instead of uh, doing the drudge of it every day. Exactly, and as far as eating, for me, everything in moderation. Yes. Why deprive yourself? If you want to have that cookie, have a bite of cookie. I if you want to have a piece of cake, like, have a on. little piece of cake, but you have to balance it out with exercise too. So that right. works for me. For other people, it might be low carb or low fat. Everybody's different. But for me, I say everything in moderation and enjoy what life has to offer. So far, who is one of your favorite celebrities that you worked with on the show? Oh my gosh, there have been so many celebrities that I've loved working with. Antonio Sabato Jr. was so much fun to work with. We did gymnastics. He's an amazing gymnast. And ladies, he takes off his shirt in the segment, so... You know, can't, yeah, everyone can look forward to that. Exactly. He's an amazing gymnast. I got to live out my dream of becoming a gymnast. I'm 5'9", so realistically that's not going to happen, but that day it did. Good. Yeah, and Kendra Wilkinson, we did an NFL workout at Hank Baskett's gym. Um, hung out with Mariel Hemingway. She has a teepee on her ranch. Wow. Yeah, Ed Bagley Jr., we cooked in his solar oven. So we're across the board. I have a solar oven? A solar oven. We made well, lentil in California, soup. California, I guess you could do that easy. Easily. I mean, it's January right now, and, and you could it's 80 degrees. Yeah. I know you wouldn't be able to tell. I'm wearing a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> so... What, um, what, is this the only thing that you're working on right now? What else are you, like, promoting it, or are you still filming? No, we, we wrapped, you're so wrapped it's up. all about promoting it leading up to April of this year, right after the Olympics. So how, hopefully, every, after everybody watches the Olympics, they're inspired they're to so just excited. be fit and then watch the celebrities do their thing. Definitely. So of all the different crazy things, because you did get to go do so many fantastic things with the celebrities themselves, what was your favorite thing to do? I would say mixed martial arts. I got to train with Josh Barnett, who is a heavyweight fighter for the UFC, and he put me through a workout. I probably couldn't have walked. I just I could not walk for days. So we did. I I did groundwork. I did footwork, uh, striking. I mean, and then at the end of the segment, he put me up against a 140 pound fighter, a guy. And we matched up, and yeah. And you took him down. I took him down. Good. He tapped out. Wow. So that was probably an experience, just because it's such a male. A unique experience, yeah. to say the least. But I just felt it was very empowering. That's fantastic. I loved it. It was fun. So if we want to keep up with you online, where should we go? Um, I'm on Twitter, at Adrian Janik, and my website, adrianjanik.com. What? Oh, okay.